all right so in the previous video i'm linking up into the cards right now i showed you guys the preview for my full whatsapp clone using svelte and pocket base we're actually going to set up the project but we're not going to get into any code so you see i have an empty editor open up an empty editor yourself so let's open up a new editor i mean a new terminal and on npm in it svelte at latest because we use some of the latest features and click correct hit enter click yes select the skeleton project and make sure you use typescript syntax no additional options now let's install the dependencies so let's run npm install pocket base uid and svelte icons now let's install the dev dependencies let's go npm i dash dash save dev at types slash uid now let's close the terminal and let's go over to the pocket base docs i'll link it up in the github link in the description you could also find this link over at pocketbase.io slash docs so now let's download the link to the pocket base download the pocket base for your machine and i'm on mac so i'm gonna download for mac os get this download that you get drag it over to your vs code project select copy folder let's rename this to just pocket base and now let's run let's open up a new terminal and let's run pocket let's open pocket base first of all and then let's run dot slash pocket base serve and let's open up the admin ui by going to this address right here and now let's create an account So now once you're in here, go over to edit collection in the users, look over to API rules, and now let's see the view rule. We're gonna set this to none, and we're gonna set this to none, and press save changes. And now, click the new collection button, and it's gonna be conversations. Let's create a new field. This is gonna be plain text, the name, and this is gonna be a non-empty. Let's create a new, field that's going to be a json json object which is going to be the messages let's create another one a photo so file called photo and inside of here this can be empty but we're going to set the restrictions let's search for image and one of them is going to be png jpg gif so let's search for GIF. Wait, let's just search for it right here, GIF. And also, we could also submit SVGs. Wait, SVG. Now let's close the edit for the photo, and let's create a new field, which is gonna be a JSON called members. Let's also create another field a JSON object for the admins and finally let's create a file object but this isn't going to be just a single file this is going to be multiple and the name of this field is going to be message photos and the reason it's multiple and not single like here is because all of the users messages that are images are going to be uploaded into this file or at least into this file directory so now let's do the same mime type for the message photos so it's gonna be png jpg jpeg gif let's do gif right here and then svg so now let's set the members to non-empty and the admins to not empty and now let's go to the API rules. And in the list slash search rule, we're going to do at request dot auth dot ID does not equal to an empty quote, basically saying that the user has to be authenticated. And also the member, the user has to be a member. So members each basically means that at least one of these items has to be the request. 
So the request.auth.id, basically the ID of the user, has to be inside the members array. So let's copy this rule, and let's also paste it in here. And let's paste it in here for the create, but instead of members, we say at request.data.admins. And the reason we say at request.data.admins and not just admins is because we are creating it. So there is no past admins that we could reference. For example, in these rules we're mentioning, we're referencing the past members that we already have stored. But in here, we're seeing the data, the actual admins that they're sending in to our server. So in the update rule, let's leave it as for admins and let's create this. Oh wait, let's make sure this is set to not members. Let's make sure it's set to not member. Let's make sure it's set to member. And let's set this to at request and at request. Let's create. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has served you value. I'm looking forward to the series. I hope you are too. And I'll catch you in the next video of this series. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and comment.